Hello guys, I want to introduce to you my data analysis tool. So when you go to our landing page and click on uh, login to analyze your data, it brings this uh, pop-up for logging in. So when you put in your user credentials, or if you don't have an account and click on this, it can uh, help you register. So when you log in to analyze your data, I, I made things easier and uh, the way uh, this site is different from other data analysis tools like Excel, uh, it gives you explanations of the charts you've generated, the tables you've generated, and uh, helps you to understand uh, your analysis easier without any inconveniences of first going to Google to get an insight of what the chat uh, talks about. So. So when you log in successfully and uh, load your data, for example, let me load this one. Yeah, so after loading it successfully and choose analysis type, if you want a uh, bivariate analysis uh, and choose maybe a pie chart for gender uh, and try to analyze it, here, it will bring for you the chart and then the explanation here. Uh, so if you want a bar chart for maybe education, uh, it, will, uh, it will give you the chart and then uh, an explanation here. And if you want maybe uh, a histogram for income, yeah, histograms are used to check for skewedness in data sometimes. So it will tell you that the data for income is skewed to the right, as you can see here. And if you want a table for education, uh, it will also help you explain everything here that the categorical, yeah, the category, the category for primary, yeah, something like that. So uh, when you go to bivariate, uh, and choose maybe you want to look at a scatter plot between income and and uh, family size, and try to analyze it. It will plot for you a scatter chart here and also give you an explanation that income is positively related we are to family size, which implies that as income increases, family size also increases. As you can see, it's an upward a slope. Uh, when you try to check for education and you want to look at cross tabulation, it will also give you an explanation for the cross table. Uh, the cross table helps you to look at the chi-square association between categorical variables. So here, we fail to reject the null hypothesis, which says no association between gender and education, since the p-value, this is greater than the significance level. And uh, also, if you want to look at correlation between income and family size, it will give you explanations. So I made things easier. Uh, here, it explains this coefficient, saying that there is a very low positive relationship in brackets in a negligible relationship between income and family size uh yeah uh, in case you want a budget between uh education and um income that is like a, a pivot so you will see here that the buffer primary represents the average income of this for that group so it literally gives you uh, an insight of what your analysis means. Um, yeah, this site, uh, all this uh, platform is ours, and uh, you can feel free to check it out whenever you have need. Also, uh, we have content online on YouTube. So if you feel like uh, you want to know more about uh, uh, something here on the site, you can always go check out our YouTube videos. Uh, also, if you feel like you don't want to check out on YouTube, you can go to course materials here and uh, check out our different course materials like these that we offer on our platform. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you uh, following other contents that we shall post online on both our uh, website and uh, YouTube. Thank you and uh, take care.